All right, y'all, here we go. Let's call this blog the Diddy Retort. Diddy seems really concerned that there aren't any black people in Alaska. Yet I would say that there are more black people in Alaska than there are white people sitting in Jeremiah's church by proportion. Diddy says there's nothing in Alaska. Alaska, there's nothing in Alaska. Who cares about Alaska? Well, if there's nothing in Alaska, then y'all should have no problem with us drilling there. Man, I thought you guys were for the little people. I thought you were for small town America and small time people. They're the ones that matter. They're the ones that make America work. <laughs> but let one of them step up and you're the first ones to knock them right back down to where you think they belong. You see, we conservatives judge character the way MLK, a Republican by the way, meant for it to be. We've evaluated Sarah Palin by her stance and her character. Diddy, don't you go making like you're interested in diversity. One of the prominent statements in your blog is, there aren't enough black people. That's all you seem to be concerned with. Because man, that ain't no kind of help. Look, if you really want to help the black community, stop stimulating the victim mentality. Man, people like you make us look like the biggest sissies on the planet. Man, what about us? We want reparations. Let me suggest something, my black people. Before you go looking at white people demanding reparations for their grander parents owning slaves, well, you might want to consider looking at the black person next to you for their grander parents selling the slaves in the first place. What, do you think white people just came over to Africa and took slaves? Uh-uh. Black Africans have been the masters of slavery since God knows when. White people were just new customers. What else did Diddy say? Oh yeah, hey man, I would definitely let Sarah Palin watch my kids before I would let Michelle Obama watch my kids. Black kids are safer with Sarah Palin than white kids are with Michelle Obama. Man, you could probably set up a video camera and have it air on True TV and I bet you'll have footage of Michelle Obama choking a snot out of some little white kid. Obama tries to say that our previous presidents had experience, but regardless of which, they still had messes. Yo, George Bush has had hell thrown his way all throughout his term. Thank God he had some sort of experience to deal with it. I shudder to think of what would have happened if he had Obama's lack of experience. And despite that, the Obama camp tries to say that experience doesn't matter. But yet all of a sudden, when Sarah Palin steps up to the plate, all of a sudden experience matters. And don't try to say that we Republicans are hypocrites for picking Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin has more executive experience, she has more accomplishments, and she has less to scrutinize than Obama does. And if you want to insist that Sarah Palin hasn't held her terms for that long, you go right ahead. Because I think it's amazing that in those short periods of time, Sarah Palin's got more done to put down on her resume than Obama can even begin to list. She handles her business with the quickness, like the Barracuda. Man, I started to think that Barack was short for Barracuda. You know, the way he sideswiped Hillary Clinton and all. Furthermore, concerning experience, man, Barack Obama would have crumbled like an old cookie if he had to go through what Bush had to go through these last eight years. Man, Barack doesn't have the onions that W has. Bush is hit with the most demeaning insults you ever want to hear on a daily basis. Barack Obama goes to crying if you say something about his ears. Now you got liberals that want to come after Palin's daughter. And, and anybody who supports Sarah Palin should step up and say that teenage pregnancy is certainly not an ideal circumstance. Before I say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, and start circling the wagons, I'm going to say, hey, I'm disappointed. This is a bad example, and it's got Sarah Palin's name tacked to it, and it's going to make it that much harder to fight teenage pregnancy in America. But hey, man, nobody's perfect, and we all have somebody close to us who can hurt what somebody else thinks of us. And given the choice, I would rather choose the person whose only negative association so far is a pregnant teenager as opposed to Obama's associations such as a person who commits bombings on American soil, William Ayers. We've examined Sarah Palin, y'all, and we are very pleased. We are very happy with where she stands on the issues and her character. Whereas you're voting for Barack Obama just because he's black and making excuses for his character or lack thereof and searching for his accomplishments or ignoring the fact that he really doesn't have any. Hey y'all, if y'all want to have some more fun with Barack Obama, I invite you to come check out the Vote Reaper. It's on YouTube somewhere.